asked the other day, what the, does the electricity sector need? It isn't crude oil or gas, it's money. A successfully operating electricity sector runs on CDs and dollars, not gas and crude oil. Of course, the ultimate irony is that despite the high retail electricity prices to end users like you and me, because there are many tariffs that are not cost reflective, the irony is that the sector is in dire financial straits. I'm reminded, Madam Chair, of that old Bob Marley song, In the Abundance of Water, the Fools Are Thirsty. How can it be that our retail prices are so high, but the institutions themselves are so broke? Energy sector indebtedness, as captured in the current ESLA bond offering, which some of you may be following, and which has just been issued, shows over 12 billion cities, let's say 3 billion US dollars, of payables owed to the state enterprises, VRA, ECG, Gridco, and Tor. And they, in turn, are owed over 10 billion CDs, let's say $2.5 million in receivables. And the short-term debt of these state institutions exceeds 15 billion CDs. It's in the prospectus, it's a public document, $3 billion for state institutions. As I speak, uh, VRA, the company whose board I chair, owes its crude oil suppliers $170 million. Again, happy to be corrected. Its suppliers of natural gas from Nigeria, NGAS and WAPCO, $180 million. Its suppliers of gas from Ghana, the Ghana Gas Company, over $600 million. Worse, most of these amounts are short-term loans, or they started out as short-term loans. 90 to 120 day antenna that have been left unpaid, rolled over and over and over again, and have effectively become medium to long-term debts. 